Welcome to Mastering and Guideline in Ultrasound and Echo. Heart is a muscular pump and main part of the cardiovascular system and can be divided in two parts or two sides, left side and right side. Each side has two chambers, atrium and ventricle. Left side involved with uh, systemic circulation and right side with pulmonary circulation. The blood, uh, the oxygenated blood through, uh, from the upper part through the SVC or superior vena cava and from lower part of the body through the IVC uh, go or inferior vena cava return to the right side uh, first right atrium then from right atrium go to the right ventricle through the pulmonary artery go to the lung in the lungs the blood oxygenated and return through the pulmonary veins to the left side of the heart first left atrium then left ventricle and finally through the aorta go to the circulations systemic circulation and this cycle repeat every second less or more heart is a hollow muscular cone shaped structure that has apex or tip of the heart and a base that widens of the heart that both atrium right and left atrium are there plus greater vessel pulmonary artery uh, aortic or uh, aorta or artery or aortic arc, uh, superior vena cava, inferior vena cava, and pulmonary vein. Superficial anatomy, heart has three main surfaces, anterior, that two-thirds of that occupied by right side, especially right ventricle, and one-third of them from anterior view, you can see left ventricle. Between the, at the connection of the right ventricle and left ventricle, there is a, a groove or sulcus, we call it interventricle sulcus, that uh, one of the coronary artery here, anterior interventricular, anterior descending coronary artery, pass through that uh, groove or sulcus. Between the atrium and ventricle, both atrium, there is another groove or sulcus uh, that we call it uh, interventricular sulcus or uh, coronary sulcus or groove. Posterior uh, surface of the heart, here you can see the view much better. Those uh, pulmonary vein you can see on uh, pulmonary artery right and left, you are watching from posterior of the heart. So this is right side of the patient, right pulmonary, left pulmonary, aortic arc, superior vena cava, inferior vena cava, uh, right atrium, left atrium. Here we have coronary sinus at the uh, sulcus, we call it coronary sulcus too, sulcus. Uh, and there is a groove uh, at the connection of the both IVC and SVC, there is a groove, we call it a terminal, groove or sulcus. Here, don't forget, uh, at the anterior to the aorta, thoracic descending aorta, in another word, close to the, the most structure that close to the left atrium, here left atrium, is esophagus. Esophagus is completely contact with the uh, left atrium, then uh, aortic arc is posterior to that. Inferior surface is occupied by most of it by left ventricle and a part of the uh, right ventricle. You can see here on this one view uh, different orientation. You can appreciate it those better uh, IVC, coronary sinus and uh, greater cardiac vein and here we have another inferior interventricular groove or sulcus that uh, left uh, posterior descending coronary artery pass through this groove. 
left ventricle is bullet shape <laughs> that short axis is circular and surrounded by a crescentic shape of right ventricle as you can see here if we look at to the inside of the left ventricle we can appreciate two type of the muzzle pattern one part is compact another are uh, those bundle uh, shape muzzle that we call trabeculation trabecula for those each of those bundle we called it trabecula here we can see better uh, trabecula here those are the bundle muzzle that uh, arrange in different direction uh, and they are connected with each other with the, some uh, tendon and it keep it strong the structure of the left ventricle and even below under those uh, bundle muscle or trabecular cornea there are some free space that blood can go under those uh, bundle muscle this pattern we call trabeculation on the right side here trabeculation is more prominent than left side but both sides we have it here we have another uh, shape of the trabeculation you can see those bundle uh, the thickness are different all those stuff the size and here you can see those other another muzzle that we can see pattern muzzle we can see inside of the left ventricle all the finger shape finger shape like uh, muzzle that we called it popular muzzle in left ventricle we have two popular muzzle that later we go talk about that here the reason i uh, brought the this uh, compact and non-compact uh, myocardium is that for measurement of myocardial wall thickness we measure the compact part not trabeculation we don't include trabeculation and so for example if we want to measure on the, our image this wall we just uh, border will be here not there so we measure from here to here or the same here we measure from here to here not there so you can see here those uh, popular muscle one of them and the second one uh, later we talk about popular muscle on the especially mitral valve now let's see how it looks like trabeculation on the uh, echo as you can see here we have some irregular bundle here uh, here too the same all the way and we have a false uh, moderator band in this left ventricle later we talk about that here on short axis you can see those uh, trabeculation very clear bundle that between them is black or on echo we call it on echo you can see those are irregular so the compact part will be here to here or here again here to here not those uh, trabeculation now let's see uh, how uh, left ventricle looks like in apical view here is for the freshman student just i am going to explain a little more uh, in the apical one of the view in the echo we do it is apical view mean we get f image from the apex of the heart in different plate one of them is apical four chamber that we put the uh, probe close to the apex of the heart and orientation uh, cutting at this uh, plane the heart so we can catch the all four chamber in this way we have two mode to show the image on the uh, apical view one is adult uh, mode and another is pediatric mode in adult mode uh, is that looks like uh, the ultrasound cut the heart in the this plane and create a picture from upper part and sweep it up or flip it up and twist it a little right and finally it give us something like that that you can see on the echo 
the probe site here image is top of the monitor a marker of the probe is the right side so here will be left side of the heart, body and heart and right side of the patient and here based on that you can see left ventricle left atrium right ventricle right atrium it looks like you are watching from below to the this upper part at cross section surface and here is mitral valve here you can see one of those papillary muscle here and uh, those corda tendini that uh, contact uh, connected from the papillary muscle to mitral valve here is mitral valve two leaflet that keep it uh, f f uh, correctly it looks like parachute suspension line hold the uh, mitral valve to not go backward and uh, get insufficiency here in the pediatric mode is image upside down or more accurate you are watching from uh, top to the bottom part cross-section surface without flipping image you just uh, throw away the upper part and watching to the bottom part of the cross section of the heart here is the same orientation probe is the same orientation marker right side and here on the monitor marker right side this will be the same left side of patient right side of patient just images upside down here will be atrium left atrium right atrium left ventricle and right ventricle the same image papillary muscle and mitral valve leaflet and here we have some uh, trabecula, trabecula one two three many here or here the same we can see some uh, trabecula up to the next time have a wonderful time